Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and today we are going to talk about some area of composite figure okay and this is the practice for end of term 3 exam for grade 7 okay let's start the video question can be find the area of the following figure round to the nearest hundreds now my dear students I am sure you learn about the formula for the area of circle area of triangle trapezoid for what uh, for which I made another video so by chance if you have missed those videos you can go through all those videos in detail and I'm sure you will understand this question okay see what you have to do in composite figure you try to join some lines or you just try to divide the figure into one or more parts so that you can get some known pictures like now you see here by joining with this line we are getting one semicircle up and two triangles down and we can find the area now easily so area of semicircle area of semicircle what's the formula pause the video and write your answer in the comment it is equal to half pi r square means it is half times pi we will take the value of pi at the last okay when we'll add them or uh, i think we'll not get pi anywhere else so just we can take the value here also okay so value of pi they have written 3.14 so just take 3.14 times radius is 5 okay now if they have they will allow you the calculator in the exam you can use the calculator but i will suggest you just add you just use your mind to multiply the numbers okay so just to save your time i am doing with the calculator here this is 3.14 multiplied by 25 divided by 2 is 39.25 okay and unit is given yes fit square okay now this is the area of semicircle so area of triangle now area of two triangles it will be equal to area of one triangle is half times base times height and then multiply by two because we have two triangles so this two and two cancelled out five times four 20 feet square so total area it will be equal to 39.25 plus 20.00 so answer will be 59.25 feet square okay and it is already written up to two decimal places so no need to round it up to 100 places it's okay now next question can be find the area of the following figure same type of question with a different picture see if we join this with a straight line like this then it becomes first as a rectangle and upper portion is like a triangle okay so area of rectangle what's the area of rectangle it is equal to base multiply by height or you can say length multiply by width so what is the area what is the side of the rectangle it is 20 meter so it will be 20 multiply by height height means it is 6 meter so 20 multiply 6 means 120 meter square now area of triangle area of triangle means half times base times height now this is the trick here how you will find the base base means only this red line okay so this total was 20 from 20 this 8 meter cancel 8 6 meter this side cancel so 8 and 6 14 cancel so 20 minus 14 it will be 6 so here base will be 6 and what is the height this total height if you see it is given as 10 so from 10 this 6 is minus so what will be this height it will be 10 minus 6 means 4 so base will be 6 so where is 1 upon 2 1 over 2 times 6 times 4 just simplify this 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 3 times 4 is 12 meter square so what will be total area total area is equal to 120 plus 12 means 132 meter square okay now 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैन बी फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सी इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव ड्रॉन टू परपेंडिकुलर्स टू नाइन्टी डिग्री लाइन्स आर देयर सो वॉट वी कैन डू फर्स्ट दिस कैन बी टेकन एज अ ट्राइंगल एंड दिस कैन बी टेकन एज अ ट्रेपेजॉयड वेयर दीज टू आर द पैरल लाइन्स एंड दिस फाइव पॉइंट नाइन इज द हाइट सो दिस विल सी सेकेंड एट द सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट नाउ फर्स्ट इज वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल सो एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल इज इक्वल टू हाफ टाइम्स बेस टाइम्स हाइट my dear students again and again i emphasize to write the formula again because you can memorize it okay so 1 over 2 times base means 1.1 times height is 4.8 so 4.8 divided by 2 is 2.4 and 1.1 multiply 2.4 is 24 times 1 is 24 2 carry forward 20 times 4 5 1 24 and 2 26 and two decimal places its the unit will be centimeter square now area of trapezoid area of trapezoid it is equal to what's the formula for that half times sum of the parallel sides that is a and b i am taking times height so it will be 1 upon 2 times these are the parallel sides so this is a this is b So four point eight plus three point six times height will be five point nine. So it is equal to one over two times four point eight plus three point six is four three seven one eight point four times five point nine. So eight point four divided by two is four point two. Four point two multiplied by five point nine. 4.2 multiply by 5.9 is equal to 24.78 centimeter square. Okay, so total area is equal to total area will be 2.64 plus 24.78 and it will be equal to I am making it plus 2.64. so it will be 27.42 cm square okay don't forget to write the unit here now another question can be find the area of the shaded region so this colored region we have to find the area so what it will be if we can find the area of this big rectangle and then we subtract these two small white rectangles or squares then that will be the final area so area of area of rectangle that is bigger one okay it is equal to base times height means it will be equal to see what is the total length for this side this is 32 plus 8 and 32 plus 8 means 40 feet so this is equal to 40 times height will be 8 plus 8 means 16 so it is equal to 16 and 40 multiply 16 is 640 feet square this is the area of rectangle the bigger one now area of area of two white squares okay area of two white squares it will be equal to base multiply height this is for one and for two white squares it will be multiplied by 2 so what is base 8 what is height Eight because it is given here. If you see, and multiply by two, so this is eight times eight, sixty-four. Sixty-four times two, I think one hundred twenty-eight feet square. Okay, now so therefore shaded area, shaded area is equal to bigger area six hundred forty minus smaller area one hundred twenty-eight. Subtract it, it will be ten minus eight two. Then three minus two, one, and six minus one, five centi. Sorry, feet square. Okay. Now another question can be find the area of the shaded region. Okay. See, my dear students, this question can be done in two ways because in this in this question it is not written that upper side and lower side is, are 
parallel okay it is not written it is looking the, like that they are parallel but i'll tell you both the ways okay it depends in the exam that how you are att attempting it so first of all i am doing like bigger parallel this is a trapezoid big one so area of trapezoid this is equal to half of sum of the parallel sides means 20 plus 40 times height means 16 so it is equal to 16 divided by 2 is 8 40 plus 20 60 times 8 means 480 centimeter square this is the area of the trapezoid now area of white triangle area of white triangle this one it is equal to half times base times height so it is equal to 40 divided by 2 is 20 so 320 cent why i'm writing degree here 320 centimeter square therefore shaded area shaded area will be equal to 480 minus 320 it means it will be equal to 0 6 1 160 centimeter square okay this is one method by which we can do the question now another method is we can use it directly okay just try to remember the answer answer is 160 so we'll see whether we are getting the same answer or not okay if we consider this triangle only what area we have to find so its base is area of shaded triangle is equal to half times base 20 and height see this is the 16 so if up and down lines are parallel so this will also be 16 so height will be taken as 16 so here it is 10 so one uh, 16 multiply 10 is 160 centimeter square see how easily we can get the answer but again what doubt i had in my mind that here they have not written that up up and down lines are parallel or they did not mention in the question also that following is a trapezoid so it's okay you can do by both the methods no problem okay i am sure you understood this question and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you